Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to decorate graph which we plotted last time. So basically, we will try to change the appearance of our graph using GUI mode, which means we will be using mouse to change the appearance of graph, and then we can save that as image or as a macro for later use in our reports or somewhere. So let's begin. So here I can show you there are two one is that this data file where we have three columns so we can plot any one like second or third with respect to first so first will go on x axis and any one of the two can go on the y axis here we will be plotting with respect to three so we are using the simple direct command for g graph so t graph so we have on the x first column will be x axis second we will not use third column will be y axis that we explained in the last video anyway so so this is a macro so we will be we will not compile it we will just run using this root uh, minus l to minimize that logo and plot dot cp so once you make enter you can see that we have obtained a graph this is the same thing which we obtained in the last uh, video also so now here we will like uh, we will change all this appearance so let's begin so you can see in the in this top menu in the view there are many options so we will go on this editor so if you look here there are many options but first thing is that this thing this name t canvas so this t defines which reason you are trying to modify like when I click here, it is T graph. When I click here, it becomes T frame. When I click maybe on the axis, it becomes T axis. So by clicking at various locations, you can get this editor window corresponding to that part or you can say that class actually. So let's start from the outer side. So this T canvas. So suppose you want to change this color. So let's change it to some uh, lighter color, maybe this one okay so now this changes this uh, canvas size but this frame is on top of that canvas and this is currently white so that's why uh, it has kind of overlapped the other region and we are not able to see the other color other thing what we can change about this is like this grid so maybe we can make this x grids and we can also make y grid if someone wants so for the timing let's keep it and you can change the log scales also let's if you click log scale x then this scale will become log scale or if you click y then this will become y scale if there are z scales like in 3d graph then you can also do those things and this last thing we usually don't use this is border mode like if you click like let's say this sunken mode then you can see at the end there is some kind of a border but for to make it clearly visible let's make the size a bit larger 5 now you can see there is a border in so there are but for yeah. yeah so usually in one of the mode this region appears higher than the this like this uh, and the other this other one is the other way around so we will not be using this one so let's for the timing close it let's focus on this inner part so now you can see here again we have this line so this line is actually this line which is this outer line so if you want you can change the color of this to something uh, for the time being let's keep it black it looks okay and this is the fill fill means this this area so if you change let's say this to maybe something lighter color uh, okay this so now there are various options to fill this like if you make this you can see this de design has changed or maybe this but earlier this was this complete fill if you make this as white means the empty you are not basically you, are cho you have chosen the style which is hollow which is kind of zero there so the back side will start becoming visible but if you choose let's say this dotted then you can see some dots of this bluish color has appeared 
so uh, we don't want that thing so let's keep this continuous full field color solid and this again the sunken border and all those things are here so this thing appears clearly visible here but let's pause the time yeah so you can see that in this sunken border the central region appears to be inside and these borders are uh, sorry sun, uh, this region is kind of a plateau and the other border is outside sinking then there is this raised so these are some of the features which you can try but here we do not want them <coughs> sorry so uh, let's make it three and now let's move to other part the main important axis so axis we have lot of options so first of all let's try to change this color this will actually change the color of this stick and this line so this length actually increases the size of this stick i mean how long it is that was 0 0.03 so let's make it same back and here also you can change this to log scale and this plus minus means on the both side uh, it will show the ticks if you need but currently we do not need that and these options are for this major and minor ticks so if you increase this like sometimes six like these numbers are six not possible like there are five numbers here but maybe 10 are possible so once we keep on increasing it becomes 10 yeah sorry this was this minor one so then it because starts showing 10 uh, minor ticks and same way is for this if you like cross certain number which are possible then you can increase the number of this uh, uh, y axis uh, this numbers like 100 to 10 these are actually called labels so we will go back to normal like this 5 was fine and now if you want to put some kind of a title here on the y axis so we can put let's say we put distance in maybe in meter so some if you want this to be centered here then you can click this thing centered so it will come here and if you want to increase size let's increase a bit you can see the size has increased but this has shifted there so we need to make a bit offset i mean so when you make zero it is here i mean when there is this point when it's here so we need to keep on increasing and let's go up to maybe somewhere this looks okay and if you click this rotate it this may get rotated towards the outer side but other way was fine so now this labels the, these these numbers 180 uh, we can change their color also to red and let's say this change this axis title also to red in axis title you can also change this uh, i mean font but let's keep this thing same we will increase this label size a bit but now you can see they are kind of overlapping so maybe we can make a bit more offset yeah this looks okay uh, yes so here also you can change this font of this number so let's try to make the other axis same as this so we will first change the color sorry color to red all of them like title label and axis then we can increase on the x axis we can write time in let's say in second and we can make it centered we can increase this thing to six or seven what was that yeah seven so for that you need to click on this axis here so seven now offset we need to decrease a bit yes yes so now at least it's completely inside we will increase this to five now you can see this is overlapping we can't move this lower so but we can raise this one and now now we can go for a bit offset yeah this looks kind of okay yes so now axes are done 
so now now we want to change this line so for that you need to click on this line now this thing will be t graph so okay so let's change this line to maybe blue yeah so first one is this is the thickness so let's make it three and this is the type of line like you want a dashed line or something other kind of line but we will stick with this solid line and this is the fill region like someone if someone has filled and they want to shade some region uh, if that is selected while doing the draw then one can change that and this title actually this title is decided by the title of this graph so we will change this let's say uh, distance time graph which looks kind of okay for Titan yeah so and the markers are actually here but their types are not very good so they are like point size so let's make them circular solid circle so we will change the color also so now we can also increase the size so let's increase this to 2 now you can see they are clearly visible and this show marker if you untick this then they will disappear okay so now we see that this part is complete but this title thing this also has some properties so uh, we will we can see that uh, this thing is the color of this title so let's make it maybe red and this is the size of this title so if you select some size here it will become very small but you can keep on going down and then you can start seeing some big sizes like 40 so maybe we need more let's go to maximum 50 yes so these are the options where you choose middle middle i mean there is a box and on that box where is this text located so maybe let's try to go for uh, middle on left okay this was the middle left then middle right okay and yes but it still looks kind of odd so we can drag using mouse wherever we want we can place it yes so this looks okay here so now most of the things appears to look okay and you can change according to your choice uh, so now the important thing is how to save this so you, we will go to file and click this save as then we have various options i mean various formats like pdf or some image format or some other code format so let's save to first this png so png is a good image format so we will save this as maybe xt graph let's say time xt graph dot png and we will click save so now we can see we have an we have an image and png image is a is a good image uh, but please don't select jpeg because that jpeg or jpeg that is kind of not uh, very good there the quality is bad compared to png but the other better format is actually the pdf format so you can select a pdf format and again xt graph dot pdf yes so here you can see a pdf file is created there again you can see yeah so here the good thing is that no matter how much zoom you do this will not uh, become blur because this is kind of this uh, P PDF format is a kind of a code written not a snapshot taken so that's why it's much better and you can also see even the size is not large you can see this PNG size is large even the image was bad but this the PDF size is just 13.7 uh, mkb and this was 20.9 kb so pdf format is much very good in terms of size as well as in terms of quality so so this you can include anywhere in your reports into uh, reports in latex or any other word reports 
so yeah so one this is the image but once you make a image you cannot change that later i mean you come after two three days then you need to again set all those things but there is a better way to save all these customizations and that is to save as a macro so dot c file so we will save as dot c file xt graph dot c so save so you can see there is this xt graph dot c now we will close this and let's see whether we are able to recreate this graph or not so we will go out root minus l xt graph dot c yeah so now you can see this graph is again opened and this is again in a customizable mode so you can click this editor it will open up and if you want to change something you can change it or you want to change let's say this color you can change this color maybe let's make it yeah this looks okay the line is red now you want to save it so you can again save this as macro format so you can now see the name you can just select the same so you can overwrite it yeah so now if you rerun that file now you can see this is red and blue so any changes whatever you do will get recorded in this c format and then you can even in future if someone to tells you that please change the size of these labels then you can change even without running the complete code so this is very useful code uh, way of saving and modifying the um, uh, your graphs but let's look at this code if you look at this code you can see there is a macro and there are various like t canvas and some numbers which we have plotted and this t graph whose title etc has been set as the way we have set and some uh, some their sizes and all the properties actually you can include these these uh, properties uh, you can copy from here and you can include in your original file here itself and then these customizations can be kept permanent along with the graph so so if you just want to change any appearance of this graph that can be done with this new macro but suppose someone asked you that please uh, use the make the same graph but not with this data the data has been changed and there is new data so if the data has been changed then you need to rerun the complete program then this macro may not be as helpful because then you need to modify this one or maybe this data file and since there is no way here we have not mentioned what color we should pick and what size is so it will make a fresh code which we begin but one can copy the uh, some power portion of the code whatever colors or sizes one wants to change and they can put it here that is actually uh, a decoration decoration i mean we can do that decoration using a code way by modifying our original macro that we can learn in the new video because there are many more things to learn there but for today's video uh, this is what we wanted to learn so now you can make a graph using t graph and you can edit that uh, using gui or mouse and so usually mouse is a better for the beginners and once you get accustomed to code then you can start directly writing the code instead of going to mouse so if you like this video then you can like this on youtube thank you